The Texas Railroad Commission is in charge of regulating the state's oil and gas industry, including oversight of drilling and pipelines. That's a big deal, but normally voters don't pay much attention to the race for railroad commissioner. But this year could be different. As Monica Madden shows us, the race has heightened interest after the agency took heat for its role in the devastating power outages during the 2021 winter storm. The 2021 February freeze drew attention to the agency that regulates natural gas, which Texas largely relies on for power. That oversight falls on the Texas Railroad Commission, which, no, has nothing to do with railroads and everything to do with oil and gas. Republican incumbent Wayne Christian was unable to fulfill our interview request, but sent recorded responses to our written questions. I believe Texans should elect me again because I'm willing to fight. He faces a challenge from Democrat Luke Warford. And I'll lower your utility bill. A 33-year-old from Austin with a background in the energy sector. Warford is hoping he'll be the first Democrat to win statewide office in decades. My opponent is a career politician who takes 99% of his campaign contributions from the industry he's supposed to regulate. So if you don't have the very folks that believe and support, which are oil and gas companies, then you'd wind up killing oil and gas in Texas by only putting folks on there that aren't supported by oil and gas. Warford says his top three priorities, if elected, are securing the power grid, decreasing Texans utility prices, and restoring transparency to the commission. During last February's winter storm, natural gas prices went up hundreds of times overnight. And the Railroad Commission's job is to protect consumers and make sure that price gouging or nefarious behavior didn't happen. Christian's campaign describes him as a pro-gas, pro-oil businessman. We've been given the moral, I think, duty to oversee the, the proper use of that oil, gas, and coal we've been given the, the power over. Monica Madden, State of Texas. The winner will serve on the three-member commission for a six-year term. That's the longest term of any statewide position on the Texas ballot. The deadly freeze in February 2021 led to big changes to the people who oversee the Texas power grid. The governor is in charge of appointing members to the Public Utility Commission. After the power failures in 2021, all three members of the PUC resigned under pressure. Then lawmakers overhauled the commission, expanding it to five members. Also, six members of the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, resigned, and the CEO was fired. The members of the Texas Railroad Commission regulate natural gas. They're elected, so it's up to voters to decide whether they keep their jobs. Christian is the first member of the commission to face voters since the winter storm. Is $4 gasoline on the way back to Texas? We'll break down the effect of OPEC's decision to cut production and the new effort to keep you from paying much more at the pump.